and we want to introduce you to a cake queen in every sense of the word. Jennifer Young of TC Bakery out of Tallahassee, Florida. She's joining us in the BNC studio. And Jennifer, thank you for starting your day with us. This, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Uh, doing great. It looks good what you have there. What do you have there? Can you explain to us? Because I wish I was there just to smell the aroma, <laughs> even though I'm not eating sweets right yes. now. Yes. Um, so currently I have a vanilla cake with um, a blue rosettes. Um, also a cheesecake, which is a butter pecan cheesecake and a snickerdoodle cheesecake. Mm. Um, I'm going to be decorating mm. a banana pudding cake, my world famous banana pudding, and a keto uh, vanilla cake with chocolate icing. Ooh, a keto cake. Keto cake. That, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you got something for everyone. Mm. I love that. Yes. Thank you. What is what is a blue? Ro you say blue Rosetta? What what is that? This is a vanilla cake <laughs> with um, blue roses on, on on the sides, decorated mm. with blue roses. Oh. Yes. Oh, roses. Okay, I yes. got you. I got you. So, so you got to decorate your your, your world famous uh, cheesecake. This is that what you said? I'm I'm going to decorate my world famous banana pudding cake. This is my most your popular banana cake. pudding cake. Yes, oh, that, that's your most okay. Yes. It, it, okay. Well, well what you, how are you going to decorate it for us today? Okay, so I'm going to um, start off by um, I've already created the well around the cake, um, so I'm going to start mm -hmm. putting the banana the actual banana pudding that I make from scratch. Um, every Ooh, every day, mm, of course, <laughs> in the middle. Now, do you put vanilla wafers in it? I do. I put them on top after I decorate. Ooh, because on top. You, okay. Yeah, you don't mm, want to you mm. don't want to put them in the middle because you don't want them to get soggy. I like the crunch um, with the soft texture of the cake. I'm a texture person. Uh huh. It's all about I the love texture. It. I'm yes. the same way. <laughs> I love some texture. It can't be too soft. It's got to have different textures. Yes. Just right in the mouth. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then I decorate and, and, and it <laughs> with the cream cheese frosting. Oh my Ooh. gosh, it looks delicious right there. Okay, so so this banana pudding cake. So is that is this a regular vanilla cake on top and on the bottom of it? No, actually, it's a banana cake. It's a um a banana cake. Yeah, oh. it's an actual white cake that I put um, my bananas and um, some other stuff in there to make it um, banana flavored, and then I put the uh -huh. banana pudding as the filling in between the layers, and the outside uh -huh. is a um, cream cream cheese crust uh, icing. Now that I'm looks happy delicious. You're now us my, my a daughter. Sneak peek, Jennifer. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you keep my, my, those my recipes. Daughter makes those are really your good. recipes. I do. I yes. do. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> they're That's, my they're my mother my, recipes. So I yes, I keep them um, close to my heart. Yeah, Aww. my my daughter is a pretty good baker, and uh, she gets mad like she will have bananas in the house, uh, and they'll go bad i think they're bad but then she's like no don't throw that away because that's perfect for banana pudding yes so when the bananas yes. are dark and they're black that's when they're perfect for banana pudding so she does a great job there but speaking of uh, parents and your mom I, I read that your mom was in the food service businesses as well owned the historic tallahassee restaurant herself yes right yes so my parents um isaac and tommy williams owned my mary's kitchen off of uh famu campus um back in 1989 um, to, to 1995 until she died. Um, and then 20, 30 years later, here I am, I opened in the same location, um, my bakery. Mm. So um, it's really a full circle moment. I have old her old students come back and say, oh, I remember your mom. And so I'm just carrying on her legacy. Aw, and Jennifer, your bakery has received so much praise. It was featured in a New York Times article and literally the customer mm. just talking about how amazing your cakes are and not just how amazing your cakes are, but how amazing you are. I just wanna know how mm -hmm. important that is for you to make sure that your customers walk away, not just feeling good about what they're eating, but feeling good about themselves. Yes, I'm a, I'm a family person. Um, I have five children. And so I always want to, um, and my mother was always um, about her community. So I want to make sure that when you come, you're coming to a down home place mm. um, and that you feel loved. And um, we, it's just like the barbershop for me. And um, I have my customers, mm. they sit and they talk for hours. We talk about church, Aww. we talk about our kids. Yeah, so it's really a family environment and I love it. Yeah. 
I love they, they do that. a lot of talking. I'm pretty sure oh. they do a lot of eating too. <laughs> yes. And so some really a lot good of eating. eating and their waistlines <laughs> just I can only imagine. Yes, yes. Well, that's what that's that's what the key that's what the keto cake is for. You got to get you know you got to get the people everything right. options these days when it comes to the keto. That's what the keto. <laughs> um, is that where your love of baking and just cooking came from? Just from your mom? Was yes, it just kind it came, of it came from passed my, down hereditary? Yes, it came from my mom, and then I got back into it when my father was sick. It was kind of like a um, a relief for me, um, just not to worry about like my escape, and so. Um, he gave me my mother's cookbook when I was like 15 years old. Mm. And so I just kind of held on to it and I looked at her recipes and I kind of put my own twist to it. And here we are. I love that because baking oh. is literally a science. You know, it's not just like cooking where you can put a little bit here, a little bit there. Like you got to make sure that what you're doing is actually going to work because I bake, but I bake out of you know, a box. Like I don't, I don't do the the homemade like you have right there. And you're putting right now. What are you oh. putting on top of the cake? What would, so I just what put was that? I just put the vanilla wafers on top so we can get that crunch mm -hmm. um, when we yes. when, <laughs> when we are um, eating the cake because the cake is so soft um, and you want that crunch when you're um, actually tasting it. Yeah. Oh now, do goodness. you have to be that careful cutting cutting that cake? It looks so delicate. So yes, usually I have like a cake cutter and then I freeze it just uh -huh. so it can hold this shape. Um, but now I see someone with a plate and we can go ahead and uh -oh. Uh -oh. cut this off. Oh, who has a plate? <laughs> but Mike, you and I can't get any, but hey, everybody at the studio, I, you know, I, let me I get a plate. plate. I don't even have I, one here. <laughs> You know what? It's dirty, but I'll take. Can no, I? No, can no. I get? No. Whoa! No, so, no, you know, no, Kevin's about that? to be first in line. Oh, see, look. And I'm Kevin, take it know. for us, man. And I'm you gonna take this chair. Know. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> there you go. How you gonna get? No, no, it, Kevin, taste it. Come on. Oh, you gonna uh, taste uh. it? No, I have a mask on. I can't. Yeah, taste, taste it. it. I can't taste. I'm it. feeling some oh, type oh. of way. Yeah. Look well, you just wasting food, man. Why you even took a slice? Why did you even take a slice? I'm Real quick before you go, I'm, uh, going to Jennifer, the I, I, I'm going to the weather center. Thank you very much, Jen. Thank you. You're Je welcome. Jennifer, real quick before you go, how, how are you? How are you and your business doing during COVID? Um, we mm -hmm. ha we've had to pivot, um, especially since um, COVID hit and they shut us down early in the pandemic. But honestly, business has picked back up. I see people are uh, feeling more comfortable with going out, and so um, it's. I'm, I'm really hopeful for the future. I really am. Well, God bless you. Thank, Thank you so much, Jennifer. Cake. This mm -hmm. was, you just mm. made us really hungry. And of course, we're going to look for mm. some of your cakes in our mail because, <laughs> you know, we're not there in Tallahassee, but we just really enjoyed you being here, sharing your story. And just making us hungry with those cakes this morning. Thank you, and I do ship, and I do come to Atlanta often and do pop-up shops, so I have to look you up. <laughs> come on. We are here we for that. Thank you we so much, waiting. Jennifer. Thank you.